In this video, I want to show you a very common type of plugin that most websites are going to need, and that is a contact form plugin. So this particular plugin is WP Forms. This is kind of my go-to these days. Uh, there are many options out there, but this one just has a really nice visual form builder, makes it very easy to create anything from a simple contact form to a complex download form, an email opt-in form, all of these different things. So this is the plugin that we're gonna be using as this example. So if we go over to our WordPress dashboard, we can click add new under the plugins menu and search for WP forms. So it's gonna be this first option here. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and activate it. And once I've done that, I get this welcome screen where I can go ahead and create my first form. So I'm gonna do that. And this is the form editor. So you can enter a name for your form here and then select a template. So there are all kinds of different templates here. These are basically just gonna pre-populate your form with some relevant form fields. So we've got anything from a blank form where you can create it all from scratch to a simple contact form uh, secret Santa sign up form, all the way to things like lead magnet download forms, opt in forms, even a potluck invitation RSVP form. So, clearly, lots of different options here. I'm just going to go with the simple contact form. And uh, first, I'm going to name the form. We'll call it contact. And then, as we're exploring our templates, we can just go ahead and use the template or we can click view demo to see what the template is gonna look like. You can see we've got a first and last name, email and comment or message. So that's plenty for me, definitely good enough for a simple contact form. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna use that template and here we can see the form editor. So you can see your form on the right and you can use this left sidebar to add additional fields. You can also drag and drop the fields within your form if you want to reorder them. So for a contact form, this is pretty standard. I am happy with this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and configure the settings for this form. So we'll go to settings and you can see there are a few pages of settings here. So we've got our general settings, which includes our form name, form description. You can add tags if you want, change the submit button text and the processing text. And then you can choose whether you want to enable anti-spam protection. And I do recommend that you leave that on so you don't get a bunch of spam submissions through this form. Now, notifications. This is important. You want to make sure that you are sending this to an appropriate email address. Now, by default, it's going to send to the admin email for your WordPress site. So you're fine to leave this placeholder in here, or if you want this sent to a specific email address, you can enter that instead. And then you can customize everything about the actual email that you receive when somebody submits this form. So you can change your subject line, the from name, from email, reply to email, and what the actual message is going to say. And you use these smart tags. So the all fields smart tag is just going to show all of the responses to the form. So honestly, I'm happy with this configuration. I don't really need to change anything. I'm fine to leave it as is. Now under confirmations, you can choose what happens after the user submits the form. So you can choose a message, you can show a page, or you can redirect to a URL. So the simplest solution is just to display a message. And this default message, thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. That's fine with me. So I'm going to leave that as is as well. So now that I'm content with this form, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now the question is, what do we do with this? Where does this show up? Well, you can add this form to any page or post on your website. And you do that with a standard WordPress block. Let me show you what that looks like. So we'll exit out of this editor and we will create a new page. So I'm going to call this contact us and then I'm going to add a new block and I would add the WP forms block. And if you don't see it here, you can search for it WP forms. 
insert that. And then from here, we can select a form that we've created. Now we've only created the one form, it's called contact. So we'll select that one. And once we've done that, you can see the form shows up just like that. If we preview this on the front end of the site, this is what it's going to look like on the page. So very nice, very easy, probably my favorite contact form for WordPress. So I definitely recommend if you need contact forms to install WP forms.